Sally doing? We're Katie and Stevie and we are here to go through our messages. Okay, basically we live together and you would think that would stop us from communicating via messages. But unfortunately we are Gen Z millennial cusp and therefore... <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna show you some of the bizarre messages that we send as flatmates and as K-pop fans. Yes. I mean, sometimes we text each other when we're literally sitting next to each other. What's your WhatsApp background? Oh, my, I was literally thinking of changing it to a K-pop thing because- It's my, not a K-pop thing! No. That's outrageous! Mine's a I, my, mine is a family thing. I should be embarrassed by mine. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Catherine. I'm so sorry, someone. I'm so sorry. Do you ever have it when you start a new chat? You have that very slight panic that like that they can see everyone your can see your background and yeah. they're like because for years mine was Ben Swallow. That Kylo Ren meme where it's like, <laughs> I think we need to include this bit first. It's the start of July. So Katie just sent me a couple of images of Mingi and then she put every inch of Mingi is thick. I don't remember. The, <laughs> I was in a minky trance when I said that. Paul oh, Kim watched our Instagram story. Oh yeah. You just said sure. Paul. <laughs> we interviewed him at High Pop Fest. We shared it on Instagram that day, and Paul obviously was like, "Oh, what's this? <laughs> Can you believe?" in capital letters, the song were auditioned for KQ with Last Romeo. No, he <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Yeah, we love Infinite, so we were shocked by that information. Last Romeo was like one of my favourite Infinite yeah, songs. Yeah, same. We were obsessed with that song. Bro, don't judge me. I'm watching Songwa's Tingle ASMR again. <laughs> <laughs> Katie absolutely despises ASMR. I know. I'm like, I'm sorry. But like, because of K-pop, I've got like a bit obsessed with it. I can't stand it. It makes me feel icky. The reason this happened was because of Tingle interview. I got into it because of that and also because of Songwa's ASMR that he does. I just watched it because it's 80s. Do you know what I mean? I actually listen to ASMR now like to go to sleep, which is weird. But like one of my favourites is the Tingle interview. Songwa and Hong Joon doing like an ear massage. Like I've literally watched it a million times. It's really embarrassing. Stevie sent me a gif. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Have a beautiful Thursday and I said <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why did I say that? That's so weird. I mean it was Thursday. I sent this picture of Mingi. I sent this picture of Mingi just with a question mark. She replied no and then I put just checking. What was this audio? Something really bad. Cause you know how with that came on harmony. You know how they were bigger than us? They're all bigger than us. A lot of people in Harmony were bigger than us, correct? <laughs> correct. Well, so, 80s have just... <laughs> They've just won Music Bank. King. King Energy. Anyway, P1 Harmony stood right behind 80s. They're all shorter Ooh. than all of 80s. <laughs> Top of their heads go to Mingi and Yuno's eyes. I wish I was joking. <laughs> I wish I was joking. She said that and I just replied, what the fly? <laughs> That's not all right. I'm watching Mingi eat watermelon. Cute. I hate this day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also just used to clarify, Stevie's name on my phone is Oily Pork because Yuno said he loved Oily Pork. Yeah. <laughs> and so Stevie said, I wish I was oily pork so you know would love me. So now she is oily pork. I am oily pork. So you know love she. <laughs> Yay! So this is when I was on the train coming back from London. It's 10 to 10 in the evening. And I said, wait, BRB, one late night at 1994, Jongo cover just came on. I need to look out the window, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> then I left for four minutes, came back, what a masterpiece. <laughs> This this is what Katie was talking about regarding P1 Harmony being shorter than 80s. I sent a message that says, I need you to come into the living room. And you replied, for <laughs> sake. And then I proceeded to show her the teaser for CIX's new music video. Yes. It was the Hyunsuk teaser. Yeah. And it was horrible. Wait, yo, no, wait. Hoya is in Ambitious. 
Hoya, an ex an ex member of Infinite, is now in Ambitious. Yeah, we reacted to some Street Man Fighter versus battles without realizing that Hoya was there all along. Yeah. When we watched it back, we were like, "How did we miss yeah. that? It's ridiculous." Change your name to Oily Pork. I've been laughing for five minutes. <laughs> Kate, you sent me these pictures. <laughs> Of Wuyung with the mask on and then said me going back to work after the 80s concerts like my soul wasn't ripped out of my chest <laughs> 21st of August was around KCON time and there was this hilarious video of someone got a rose apparently from Bang Chan and then tried to give it to Songwa later it was from Apparently, I don't know if that's true. Someone tried to throw a rose or something and they completely missed and the side angle is hilarious. And I said, us if we tried to throw it out once. Because at 80s, we kind of wanted to try and give them our ones. But obviously when we arrived, we realized that the gap from front row to the stage was humongous. Huge. When we went back to Wembley Arena for Harry Pop Fest, the gap was not that big. If we wanted to throw our wands that we would have potentially stabbed them. Yeah. We very quickly realised we couldn't throw our wands. <laughs> Which is why we didn't throw them, because we obviously don't want it in J80s. Casey just said this. <laughs> Horrible image of her, right? She decided to do a sugar detox recently. So I replied to that with thanks, I guess. And then I said, wait, is that a marshmallow? You sinner. And then she replied, what? No, no, it's a boiled egg. And then I replied saying, oh, what the f And then again, she said, it's an egg. And then I said, that's definitely also a sin. And then she replied, what? I'm allowed three eggs. You can't tell me what to do. And I said, why are you inhaling eggs? Is that a mandatory step in the cleanse? And she said, I was eating it and it was fun too. Do you never do that? Like put things by the edge of your lips because it feels nice. And then I said, put a whole egg in my mouth? Not usually. And then she said, oh. Oh, but then I replied to the bit where she said about the edge of your lips. So I said, oh yes, of course. And then she said, yeah. And I said, but not choke on eggs. And that's the end oh, of that. what? <laughs> what the flying F? It's like Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey combined. Oh. Um, that's in response to uh, Wannis' upcoming <laughs> Why do you keep being so Whoa. nasty? It's Wang being really nasty. It reminded me of Twilight because you know the front cover is like the apple in the hands. Oh, we've come to the end. That was today. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what's bad? I feel like that was a less delusional month. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, well, that was quite much, tame. Much worse than that. Yeah. Yeah, we've been quiet this month. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you for watching whatever that was. I hope you enjoyed having a little insight into what us as K-pop fans and flatmates talk about yeah. on a regular basis. Um, drop yes. a comment, like, what, what, what do you guys chat about with your friends? Anything as weird as that? Are we weird? We're definitely weird, but I wouldn't say we're the only weird ones. Yeah. So can you please like help us feel okay about how strange we are by leaving your examples below? Thanks. Would you guys be interested in seeing this again? Like, should we make this <laughs> a, a monthly regular thing? Like, yeah. Do you, do you want to know what we chat about? Like, yeah. Um, let's holler at us. Holler. Holler at us. Thanks. And we'll see you soon for more vids. Bye. Bye.